Yeah, hello YouTube, sorry about the lack of videos recently, I've been um, playing congresses and um, we are missing a black pawn, so please can I have it? Um, oh, I've got it, oh thank god for that. Uh, panic over, I feel you want to say anything? It's about Bulletin or the busy persons or how would you do a bit? Yeah, uh, just the fact that uh, today is busy persons, four and a half out of eight. Four. I had to play Ali Janoub in Mark Surtees in a 182 for Bolton called John Hall. And let's look on the right side, we beat Joseph McPhillips, the AKA, and the big hacker. I got to play my girlfriend and I hacked her up, well, I won narrowly, but I won. Anyway, uh, Also a short, short message to Matthew Dignam. Hi, this is Behind Blue Eyes. Uh, we're going to play with increments because we've had loads of practice games and about four we're deciding on time, so therefore we've gone for increments. Are we all going to show our faces? Yep. Where's um, Philip Arbiston? A bit of, a bit maybe the army hair's a bit messed up. Yep. So, uh, we can very swish. Yes. And now, we have the hacker, Hilton. Hilton the hacker. Hilton the hacker. Anyway. Um, it's just in a good position for you. That's what she said. Yes. Okay. Off we go, shake and. Uh, I'll please start the white clock. And all boards. <laughs> I'll do the French. <laughs> Is it even working? Yes. <laughs> oh, not the advance. The most boring it's open than ever. Copyright Jason Lyon. Mainline theory alert. That's why he's lost to the busy persons today. One head on time. What's the theory? I don't know if he's past this point. A bit of strong bow. Finish the can off. Have this game versus Joseph McPhillips today. Just a slightly different opening. McPhillips played pawn six d four. McPhillips also drew against Nigel Davis GM. He's also one of thirty years old. He's going to um, be a GM, of course. Good help as all. Daniel Fernandez dislikes this. Should I do the double H swap? Do you open that file? Mm. As you can see, White is easily winning his position. Easy dreams, mate. F6, double exclamation mark. But it's risky versus a hacker like Philip Arbiston. It's also 15 minutes till Phil's birthday. Yes. It's in the uh, spring age of 2476. <laughs> so please get your comments here on Facebook. Yep. Happy birthday, half an Augustin. Let's try hacking it up with this move. Yeah, that's what I've played against before. Oh, I'm going to take your pieces fast. Need to practice. Do that with your baby technique. Yeah, the whip off. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the whip off attack. That's an awful move. Oh, he's playing the drops absolute clang. I just blundered the pump and no compensation. Yeah. The one seventy ECF is hacking it up like never before. This is resignable already. It's not hacking into a right hack up. Start with this one here. Look at this massive attack here for White. This is awful. He's getting every kind of move possible. This is suicidal. Best move is resigned here. Paul oh, one. To save the embarrassment of the YouTube subscribers. Green takes pawn is the best move here. Might as well sack more pieces. The clocks were set by the way at 5 minutes 3 seconds. 
increments. Tim Hilton is now coming down to 3 minutes 30 seconds in Phil's own Oops, it's to peace. I'm going for another pawn. They're a massive attack again. I'm being hacked by the hacker who's hacked to the service, it's just pushing me anyway. <laughs> a complete sack up. <laughs> a sack up, alright. Sack up with a hack up. With the Hornitons. If you're watching, that is. Yeah. Hello to the Jamie. We still be no Brendan Bronze style flagging anyway. But some Oliver Jackson style hacking here. You just have to say hello to the Hortons. That's his alert. I'm playing like Jamie Horton at the moment. And I'm playing like Andy Horton. <laughs> That's bad as well then. <laughs> They're playing like Jake Manson. Andy that. Horton loves a bit of a hack up. Yep. It's definitely unbelievable. I guess. Then. <sighs> Complex. That's a shit move, I think, actually. Just give my pawn back for nothing. I forgot the bishop takes pawn. Oh, I'm back in the game! I'm probably winning. Oops, didn't see that. Doesn't do much. It does, it was g7. Mm, not quite. Rook f7, the passive move. <laughs> That's awful. Rook g8, the passive move. It's just awful. It's suicidal. The both block my bishop, I I hope Andy Horton's learning something at the moment for when I beat him. That's what he sees. Again. Jamie Horton, rather, yeah. With H6, the box Kabasha back. We've got a massive surprise for Mr. Horton when we play him next. Well, no one's going to say what that surprise is. <laughs> You're going to win again, that's a surprise. No, there's no, that's not a surprise. I'll beat Aunt Jamie any day, anyway. Just blundered another pawn there. Yep. Been completely hacked to shreds by an absolute complete patsy like me. <laughs> Who's on half part of three in the ball to major. Yes, half. Box. That's a nice quick way of taking a piece. Too slow to take pieces. I wonder how fast when it means needs to be. This is just winning for white now. I guess then that loses to queen f4 check, which is pretty disastrous. Oh, yeah. But it's not quite, is it? Looks like it. I can see that at all. I was winning that. Yeah, but weak players never prevail. Design. Very good. Good game. <laughs> The Ale Wings is his birthday in 10 minutes. I hope Jamie Orton's be wary of this. Yeah, well, he was lucky. But anyway, um, see you on YouTube and please leave any comments and thoughts. Thanks very much. See you later.